What do you do about being lonely? It's like a, such a big question because we all feel lonely. It's such a core emotion for so many of us. Let's talk about it a little bit after the show reel. Ah, you can't feel too much. <laughs> of course you felt lonely. I'm not even gonna ask the question, have you ever felt lonely? But what I've noticed in my years of experience with my clients and with myself, are the times I feel the loneliest are the times that I'm looking for validation outside of myself. So what do you do when you feel lonely? Notice what is it that you feel like you're missing? What are you looking for from other people? Are you looking for attention, excitement, validation, acceptance, a snuggle, touch? What is it that you actually want and you actually need? Let me ask you this. When you've been lonely and you've gotten a bunch of attention to, from other people, or you've gone out to the bar, or you've had a bunch of people reply to you on social media, does it actually make you feel less lonely for long term? Or is it just a temporary fix? For most, it's a temporary fix. And this is why it's so important for us to look at what is the core root of why we're feeling lonely in the moment? What is it that we actually want and need? What is not being fulfilled within ourselves? And how can we, as an individual, take care of that ourselves? So one thing that you can do is start journaling. I know everyone says journal, 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 write it down, right? But it's, it can be really important for people to journal, whether that be out loud on video, whether that be writing, whether that be actually just um, drawing, right? What does loneliness feel like? Start noticing what is it that when you feel lonely, where is it in your body? What is missing? And what do you need? What can you get to replace that? Because I'll tell you, we have some core things that everybody feels. We all feel unlovable at times. We all feel unworthy at times. We all feel like we're not enough at times. And those lead to this feeling that we call loneliness when in actuality, it's this core thing that we've learned either from childhood, from a recent experience, but it's a part of the human experience. And this is why it's so important to connect first with yourself. Ask for what you want and what you need truly, not just look for temporary validation, temporary acceptance, temporary, someone that'll talk to you really quickly, someone that'll hang out with you really quickly, someone to go out with a drink with really quickly or go out dancing or go out whatever. Like, what do you actually need? Write it down. Another thing people do is they go out and they move, go exercise, go hike, do something that's not avoidant. I mean, even though that can be avoidant, I'm going to be honest with you, right? What can you do to actually experience your emotion of loneliness and go do like a gratitude walk, a self forgiveness walk? Talk about all the things you're grateful for, the people that you're grateful for in your life, because whatever you focus on persists. So even when you realize where your loneliness is coming from, the biggest challenge that I see with a lot of people is that they don't do anything to shift it. And then they're in this pattern of looking for validation, looking for people to accept them, and they never shift anything permanently. So this is why it's so important to actually find and change your mindset about what is possible. Who loves you? Who pays attention to you. How are you important in this life? Because if you focus on the loneliness, all your brain is going to see is more loneliness because whatever we focus on persists, right? It's what our brain starts looking at. If you're looking at red cars, if you're looking for red cars, you're going to see more and more red cars. If you're looking for all the ways that people are neglecting you or that you're not important, that's what you're going to see. So Start moving, start journaling, start writing, start doing whatever it is that you need to do to start seeing the power within yourself, all the ways that you're supported, all the ways that you're cared for, all the ways that people reach out to you. And it may not be happening in this five minutes, in this 10 minutes, in this half a day, in this day, in this week, but people are there. Resources are there. Looking for and being grateful for those resources. 
And I guarantee you, your loneliness will change. How do I know that? I've been there. I've done that. I've assisted my clients through it for years. You've got this. I believe in you. Because remember, no matter what your little ego brain says, you're love, you're loving, and you're lovable. Have a lovely night.